Hi guys, here is Dr. Benaduce and now we'll go over the aortic branches and also the superior inferior vena cava and azygous vein in this heart model. So let's start. At the aortic arch A, the first thing to branch out is B, the brachiocephalic artery. Then the second thing to branch out is C, the common carotid artery. And the third thing is S, the subclavian artery. Now remember, this is the right side of the heart and this is the left side of the heart. So these right here that are closer to the left side of the heart will be the left common carotid artery and the left subclavian artery. And this is the brachiocephalic trunk or brachiocephalic artery that will divide into the right common carotid artery that will go up towards our head and the right subclavian artery which will go underneath the clavicle and end up in our arm. Now, when we look right here, this is the blood vessel that's delivering blood into the right atrium right here. Consequently, this is the superior vena cava. Now, what delivers blood to the superior vena cava are the right and left brachiocephalic veins. So this is the right brachiocephalic vein, this is the left brachiocephalic vein. And they are named brachiocephalic because they are the union from the internal jugular vein and the subclavian vein from the right side and also then from the left side. So the left internal jugular vein and the left subclavian vein will get together and form the left brachiocephalic vein. For the brachiocephalic veins, you must say right brachiocephalic vein and left brachiocephalic vein. For the brachiocephalic artery, you will never say right brachiocephalic artery because we don't have the left one. So there is no need to say right brachiocephalic artery, we just say brachiocephalic artery. Now, when we look right here, this is the superior vena cava. This one is the inferior vena cava. The inferior vena cava brings blood from the inferior portion of our body and the superior vena cava from the superior portion of our body. And if you look here in the posterior aspect of the superior vena cava, you find this vein. This is the azygous vein. The azygous vein serves as a collateral circulation for the inferior vena cava. So we have blood coming from the inferior part of our body. Basically, it can bypass the inferior vena cava and then it's dumped inside of the superior vena cava right here via the azygous vein and then the blood arrives in the right atrium.